Hey guys, welcome back. I am Jason Salyer and I've been working closely with Dustin from Wazoo Survival Gear and I've got a pretty cool trip planned. My, uh, my plan is to fly to Colorado with nothing but the Wazoo cash belt and the Wazoo cash cap and the contents inside of it. I will go through um, security. I will go on to the airplane with no checked baggage, no carry-on luggage whatsoever. You're looking at the clothes on my back, basically. Um, and really, I'm not even planning on taking anything in my pockets, just the Wazoo gear itself, that's it. Uh, and then when, upon arrival, uh, I don't know what the scenario is gonna be. Let's say, you know, zombie biker pirates take over the airport. I have to flee the scene and head off into the, um, into the unknown and where I will spend 72 hours in uh, November in Colorado, where it's probably gonna get pretty chilly at night. Uh, 72 hours in the woods, in the mountains, um, just doing my thing. So, uh, and we'll document the whole thing. So it should be a pretty cool challenge, should be a pretty cool adventure. I think you guys will enjoy um, going along on the ride. But what I've got to do now is I've got to go through all of my Wazoo gear, my hat and my belt, and I've got to decide what items I actually need in there, need in there, knowing that I'm going to be doing this 72-hour challenge. But it's also just good to go through this stuff anyway because, you know, the reason you wear it is for the unknown, right? So I'm going to go through it and bring you guys along, kind of do this in real time. I'm going to try to do this without making any cuts or, or edits or anything like that. So we'll just kind of be going through the stuff and I'll be um, thinking out loud and... You guys can let me know in the comments what you think should I, what should I change? What should I do different? I don't know. So um, in my hat, my cash cap here that I've been wearing for a while now, I don't have a lot of stuff. Uh, I've, I've kind of weeded it down to the very, very minimum. All I keep in this front part here, this front pocket of the hat is some cash. I've got maybe, I don't know, maybe a couple hundred bucks here a hundred dollar bill and some smaller bills to uh to go along with it because cash is is a survival item in my opinion it can get you out of jams when you know your car just isn't working or you know cash is the only thing accepted it, that happens all the time and this actually have you have used the cash in this hat uh, a couple of times so that's been really handy to have so i'll keep that in there um in the small little side pocket here i've got the small, very razor sharp ceramic blade um, that should go through security no problems. I've got, and I've got all this lanyarded to a piece of bank line so I can just pop this around my neck when it's in use uh, and then put it back in the hat to stow away securely when needed. But I've got the small knife, which doubles as a striker for my ferro rod, um, a small ferro rod there, and then I've got the small little light that Wazoo offers and has on their website. So this, and this light is actually pretty bright. I was pretty surprised at how bright this light was. The only problem I, I, I have with it and I don't like is that it doesn't have a stay on kind of feature. Um, you have to depress it and hold it. So it's not like you can just dangle it around your neck, turn it on and have some illumination there. Uh, I'm sure I could MacGyver my way out of that, but, but I guess, you know, I guess it's also a good thing because if it was to get depressed in your hat, it would just drain the battery down. So that, you know, I guess I can kind of see it from both sides. So anyway, that's pretty much all that's in my hat at the moment. That may change based upon um, how I'm feeling, based upon your comments, but that's, that's what I've got going on right now. So we'll set this stuff out so you can see it. Kind of like that. All right, and now in my belt, obviously I won't be taking that. That's gonna go away. Uh, pop off the belt. First and foremost, you've got the buckle. Um, and I've got a signal mirror tucked away inside of that buckle, which I think is just genius. Really, really smart. Um, so I like, I like that a lot. There's also a bottle opener, which I do not foresee coming in handy at all. But, you know, if you get thirsty and all you have is a bottle and you need to open it, uh, there's other ways to open them, but it's convenient to have an actual bottle opener. So um, this carabiner's here. Uh, I'm gonna leave that on there because if I should come across a water bottle or, you know, I haven't decided yet. Maybe, uh, maybe I'll allow myself an allowance. Maybe I'll use some of this cash to, um, to purchase 
something. You know, maybe I maybe I'll give myself a twenty dollar allowance or whatever to purchase a water bottle. I don't know, something like that. So and then I can attach it to the carabiner and then I can carry it on my belt really conveniently. It actually carries a Nalgene bottle really well. Um, so I like that feature. Um, so I'll just start here at the end, opening it up. I forget kind of some of the stuff I've had. I've had it in here so long. It's been a while since I've gone through it. I forget. But this is one of the um, Wazoo water kits. Inside of this, this is actually two kits kind of combined. I've got two of the bags, the water bags, because two is better than one. Everybody knows that. So I can carry two quarts or two liters, maybe it is, of water with two Ranger bands holding it all together, which are flammable. So I could use that. There is some heavy duty aluminum foil in here that I could use for whatever I feel the need for aluminum foil. Um, and then there's a filter, a water pre-filter in here. It looks like basically a small coffee filter. Speaking of coffee, I'll take a little sip. Um, and then I took the water purification tablets out of this. So that's just the aluminum foil, two bags, Ranger bands, and the pre-filter in there. The um, water purification tablets, this is something I think I will definitely add more to because currently I've got two, four, six. I can, I can purify six quarts of water with this right here uh, wrapped up in another an extra Ranger band. Um, so that's six quarts of water. If I have to spend 30 or 72 hours in the woods, Six quarts is going to be really skimpy. Um, I mean, if I'm just sitting around, laying around, doing nothing, it would probably be okay, but that's not really my style. So I'll be up doing lots of activities. Um, and six quarts of water is going to be the like really the minimum, I would say, for that period of time. Um, so I might be adding a few more of those. Um, if, I can spare, if I have the room, that is. Let's see, going down the line. I've got some of the Technor cord that I believe this is, oh, uh, don't quote me, but I want to say this is 400 pound test line here. And that's, that's pretty, that's pretty strong stuff. And I think it's 25 feet of it. Um, so I could use this for all sorts of things, rigging up shelters and or whatever, fashioning all kinds of things, maybe even do a survival bow or something. I and mean, this could be the bowstring because it doesn't stretch at all. It's really, really, really nice cordage. Um, and then a bread tie holding it all together. I've got two quick tender tabs, and in my experience, you definitely do not need an entire tender tab here. I think uh, Dustin from Wazoo calls these, uh, lovingly has named these Cheetos, so, which is kind of what they look like. But they burn really good, and they light up very easy with just that small ferro rod, and I think that um, two of these will make, I mean, I could make from scratch, I bet I could make six fires out of here, even in damp conditions, out of these two tabs. Would it be good to have more? Obviously, yes. The wetter things are, the more difficult things can be, so maybe I'll add some more in there. I don't know, but as of now, I just have the two. I've got another setup, just like I have in my hat, because, you know, what happens if I lost my hat? What happens if security on the airplane claims it, you know? I don't know. So I've got a backup here in my belt. So I've got another small ceramic knife. I've got a small ferro rod and a light, all lanyarded onto something I could put around my neck very easily. I've got a single compass. I will definitely 100% be adding an additional compass um, because one, I've had these button compasses, not necessarily the Wazoo ones, but I've had these button compasses fail on me where they just weren't, I couldn't trust it. Um, where the, uh, whatchamacallit, the, the bezel, I, I don't know if you call it the bezel, I, I'm bad with terminology, but the, the part with all the writing on it has come loose from the actual metal part underneath, and then it was just kind of freely spinning and, and not accurately pointing in any specific direction. So I will have two of these for sure, one in my hat, I think, um, and one in my belt, so I can, I can compare them side by side and be like, okay, yeah. One of them's honk, one of them's not even close, and one of them one of them's reading accurate, or they're both pointing in the correct direction. So I'm gonna have two of those. Uh, I've got a rape whistle because you know you never know out there in the deep dark Colorado woods what's going on. So oh, that's really dusty. There we go. Um, 
but I've got a whistle so I can signal, I can alert people to where I am, you know, whatever. So there's that, let bears know I'm coming. Um, and then in this last section, I've got a fishing kit, a slash sewing kit. There's a needle in there, there's um, uh, safety pins, three split, small split shot, and I think there's three fishing hooks. Um, and that is to be used in conjunction with the fishing line here, this braided, um, basically uh, spider wire kind of fishing line. That's gonna be really strong and I could use that to sew up gear if I need it or make repairs or catch fish. I think what I might do is, is try to squeeze in another one of these fishing kits in my hat perhaps or in the belt because three hooks is good and I, that'll probably probably work. I probably won't lose them, but but you never know if it's if I get them tangled up and stuff and lose the hooks, that would be probably not very good. So I might have um, another one of these stowed away. So there's that. I've got the wire saw, which is works really well for small green saplings and things like that, constructing shelters or different projects that I might need it for, rigging up my cane pole or whatever. The, this this wire saw works actually really well. Um, and then you could just attach some loops, some thumb loops, because it doesn't have any handle on it really on this, this small guy here. You can attach some thumb loops with some of this Technora cord and you'd be in business. Some copper wire that I've already dug into, I might freshen this up with a full, a full spool. Um, but uh, I actually used some of this to jump a fuse on my motorcycle on a last adventure ride that we were on. Uh, very handy. So I've got that. And I think that pretty much completes what I have. Now, are we checking all the boxes? Are we, let me get you back in here. Are, are we checking all the boxes? Are we, uh, do we have water? Yes, we have water. I've got capable, I'm capable of producing six quarts of clean water. Um, sorry, let me get you, get you lined up here. Six quarts of clean water, that's what I can do. Um, as long as there's a place to gather it, which I'm assuming there will be. Um, food. Do I have any food on my person? No. No, I do not, but I have means of procuring it as long as there's a water source that has some fish in it. Frogs, whatever. I could probably make that happen. Um, you can catch bullfrogs on a hook. I don't know if you've ever tried that before, but that's a thing. So, uh, but in... No, uh, November, I don't know if that, that's almost certainly not gonna be a thing in Colorado, I don't know. Never, I've never spent much time in Colorado, so. Uh, so let's see, we've got water, we've got food procurement, we don't have any food with us. Um, fire, do I have a way to make fire? I have two ferro rods, two ferro rods and two tinder tabs here, and I can almost 100% guarantee you that I could make fire with that. Um, unless, you know, something crazy happens, but I think that that's pretty much a guarantee. Um, let's see, shelter. There's not really any shelter in my kit because shelter is one of those big things that's just difficult to, to carry along in a small compact belt or hat kit, but I can craft myself a shelter utilizing this wire saw and just, you know, picking up stuff off the ground, my, breaking stuff with my hands and just being you know, using some ingenuity. So anyway, that's kind of what I've got going on as of now. Um, and I, I do, honestly, I have to get home. Like, that's a real thing. It's not like I'm just, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna fake it. I'm literally not taking anything to the airport other than what I'm wearing, basically what you're looking at right now. I'm not taking this, obviously. Oh, and I've also got this around my neck, I forgot. Um, I've got another ferro rod, uh, a small striker, and then a sharpening stone, the, uh, Viking whetstone pendant. Um, not that I have a knife to sharpen when I'm gonna be getting on the airplane, so I may or may not wear that, I don't know. But anyway, um, but yeah, I've taken the cash because I literally do have to get home and it, you know, stuff happens when you're traveling and you might need to, uh, uh, you know, make stuff happen. And I'm gonna be um, taking my identification, something like that, my wallet. So that's probably what I'll be rocking on the trip. Let me know what you guys think, I, I'm really curious. What else I need to add? I'm trying to stick to the Wazoo gear specifically. Um, they've just been, Dustin's been so good to me and hooked me up and and he's just a really genuinely a good dude. And I wanna try to support his business as much as possible. 
and by utilizing strictly Wazoo gear, I feel like it will really give some credibility to the company and I feel like it will really demonstrate the capability of the gear and just how easy it is to carry it um, when traveling and just how useful and it literally could potentially save your life and that's what I'm hoping to be able to demonstrate out of something like this, this, this challenge coming up. Um, but anyway, let me know what you think. Uh, go to the Wazoo website. It'll be, I'll be posting that on, um, posting a link to it uh, in the description. Click on that. Go to the Wazoo website. Go through their stuff. Pick up some stuff if you want it. If you're if you're interested, I think you won't go wrong. You won't be upset with anything that you buy from them. Um, but go through that list and see. Hey, man, you maybe you should pick up one of those, and you should have that, or you should have more of this. Um, I'm just curious as to what you guys think. So. Uh, let me know in the comments. Make sure you hit a thumbs up. Hit the thumbs up, and uh, we'll see you on the next video.